Hello guys and welcome back for another video of Ragnarok Origin and in this video is the complete guide for Bard and Panzer and without further ado, let's begin. One of the frequently asked questions is what is the primary stat of the Bard or a Dancer? Dexterity is their primary stat and please take note, in order to increase your healing, you need higher attack. And in order to increase your attack, you need to increase your dexterity. As for equipment, my suggestion is to make coin. Okay, wait. Is this coiny or kobni? Google Translate, can you pronounce this word? Koibani. 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 I still can't pronounce it. But as for free to play, this will be your best option. You just have to increase your max HP for higher survivability. And if you want a DPS role, what you're going to build is the Magic Flow set. And if you're going to ask me between Magic Flow and White Wing set, I'm going to choose Magic Flow. Because White Wing set will only increase the damage of the long range by 10%, and that 10%, you can get that if you're going to use Food Ball. As for accessories, my suggestion is either gloves or vid necklace. And then later on, you can change to level 105 accessories, which is this one. And if you're a DPS type, you can choose this set. For weapon, I suggest flame whip for dancer and Guitar of Burning Passion for part. You can check the video showcase of this weapon by clicking the i button above or you can check it in the description box. Then later on, you can choose this weapon. This weapon will increase your physical damage reduction by X% percent and will also increase your healing by 20%. For skill build, here's what I can suggest. There are some skills that you can't use if there's a high priest in your party. I'll make a video about it, so please stay tuned. Encore is the most important passive skill for bard or a dancer. Encore passive skill will prolong your solo dance skill. And this skill will make you look like you're using multiple skill in just one cast. For Varus Core, I suggest Encore Concerto. It will increase the duration of your Encore passive effect. And with the help of Encore Concerto, especially if you're using level 7 Encore Concerto, it will add another 7 seconds so the Encore Concerto passive effect will last up to 17 seconds, which is really, really good. Another core that I can suggest is the Dull Heart. So if you're going to use Marionette Control Skill, it will remove the stat penalty and by using this score the stat bonus can increase up to 70 percent especially if you're using the level 7 y core imagine this plus 17 bonus stats to all your allies that's crazy for mount what you're going to choose is the bravery and you can also choose love to increase your max hp and then active to increase the physical damage of your attack skills Alright, so that's all for now. If you want more video about Tensor and Bard, I already made a video about them. You can check in the description box or you can browse in my YouTube channel. If you need more guide, you can check Cheese Playing Again videos. I'll just put the link in the description box. I think he's also going to 
make guys about this class and Jis is right because this class is so versatile because you can play DPS, you can play support role, they can do crowd control. So yeah, that's all for now. Please stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video.